<laughs> Hello my loves and welcome back um, to my channel. I unfortunately am going to put on my glasses. I've been driving around Hartford for a few minutes and then I decided, you know what, fuck it. Let us film. I don't know if anyone's live. We don't know what's going on. Let me fix my wig. Which I don't even think I've put up this review. I've had this wig for months. Wow, I'm a slacker, guys. Anyway... I hope you guys are doing well. I don't know how I ended up getting stuck on this side of the town. I always do. It's just the dumbass way I go. Anyway, time to go home. Time to dig around. Go home. Talk to my peeps. I won't be able to see too many of your comments, if at all any, because the sun is in my face, guys. Inti ways. Hello, my loves. I hope you guys are doing well. Let's just chat, right? It's been a while. I haven't been able to really edit um, the videos that I do have, let alone film any new videos, which I'm so embarrassed to say, because I'm usually on my P's and Q's, but I'm not going to lie. Um, I will give you guys a little life update. I've just been really, I guess, overwhelmed lately. Hello, my love. If you guys are just joining me, I can't really read your comments right now, but I love you guys so much. You guys are always so freaking supportive, and... I try to respond back to all the comments I get. Um, sometimes it doesn't send. <laughs> but I try to like love all the comments and just know that I always think of you guys. And I get mad at myself for not uploading. Ooh, child, bitch is bloated. Um, okay, little life update. Been kind of like, well, you guys know. Some of you guys do know. I work two full-time jobs, whatever. I'm just working all the time. I'm a little hype right now because I'm so tired. Um... And I'm just getting out of work. I was just driving around. I had to go drop off something real quick. And now I'm, you know, like live. Uh, so I'm about to enter the highway. And I'm sure there's going to be a shit ton of traffic. Um, I don't see any comments, but it's okay. I can't see shit anyway. <laughs> um, so yeah, little life update. I've been kind of cranky lately. I've been in my feelings. You know, I don't get a period. Because I'm on the depot or whatever. I, I get the depot. I've had it itchy nose i've had it for blah, over a decade or two uh so i take it because um i'm a raging c-u-n-t when i get my period like it's elevated 20 times so i kind of do that just to kind of keep my periods at bay so i'm not a super hot mess no doctor wants to help me as far as the mood swings the pain and all that goes uh but we already know that as women people just don't fucking take us seriously <laughs> no matter if i write them a fucking book um, so I'm mentally, I'm mentally just effed, I'm bloated, I've been like this for like two weeks where I'm just like cranky, and like tired, like super tired, like unbearable, and it hasn't happened in a while, but you know, shit happens, shit happens, um, my body sometimes tells me I need to slow down, and I have, there's, I've taken a few days off here and there, some forcefully, uh, due to some emergencies mm -hmm. or whatever, but whatever, neither here nor there, can you guys hear me okay? I hope you guys can hear me okay, because I was blasting the music, and I don't know. Anyway, um, I'm about to enter the highway, crossing my tits, that it's not too much traffic, and we can make this a quick video, because I do want to update you guys, I want to talk to you guys, and shit like that, so, yes, oh, lip color, this is Sephora Lip Cream in 01, it is like the OG red Sephora lip cream amazing of course it wears off with oils and food and all that shit yes i'm minimal makeup today no foundation just concealer um my favorite concealer right now has been sir slow the fuck down um my favorite concealer right now has been the milani one it has been the only concealer i've been using for the last three months i'm not gonna lie i have to do a favorites video for you guys my wig is not holding my glasses so hold on bear with me chose um so anyway, we're just chit chat. First of all, Norvina's gonna release her second volume palette. I have neither, <laughs> cause I'm right now focused on financial stability 2019, which we've discussed. Yay, traffic, motherfucking yay. Um, excuse me, but I can't wait to see the colors. I know it leaked. I don't want to see the leaked photos. I want to see her release. Um, I'm that way. Like if I accidentally came across it, that would suck. But I wouldn't look at it too much 
and then keep it moving until she posts and I'll support on that post. You know what I'm saying? Um, but she, I haven't seen the leaks, even though I heard that it was leaked today. A lot of stuff has happened today. I heard people popping off the N word, uh, drama channels. Listen, honey, I'm too tired for this shit. Um, <laughs> so I went online, Twitter, this early, 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 early AM. Okay, these glasses are fucking annoying. Um, this early AM, I went on Twitter and I saw like Malibu Doll, which I love him, um, posted something and I kind of was reading through it and you have to go through the comments. And this, I'm not saying no names, I don't give a shit. I'm... <laughs> First of all, let me let me explain how I feel about drama channels. And I don't want drama channels to get offended because it's kind of like their double-edged sword type shit. Okay, what the fuck? Okay. Drama channels are there for just that. Just to be dramatic, just to speak on the drama, to either kind of just inform people of things that they've heard or seen. Usually should have receipts, um, you know, proof in a sense of what's been going on and why that's the conclusion this is what they're reporting so they're kind of like the news you know right so drama channels i'm like <sighs> i i had a hate hate relationship with drama channels at one point because i was seeing a lot of like really nasty more personal bullshit being spewed and it was like you can tell like even if i didn't care for the person they were talking about that wasn't the point it's that they were like finessing people into believing that this happened i'm like that's not this is a hater channel that's kind of what like i would like that's how i was taking it when i first started watching certain channels and look i'm guilty i watch um t by ali uh Every, is it here for the tea? I don't even know. I don't know him by name like that, but I know him here by T by Ali because I know she changed her name. But I do watch her. I just kind of like that she's like, no bullshit. It is what it is. I've watched her a little bit more. Not like religiously because I don't even, honestly, I don't think I'm sub subscribed. It just kind of pops up on my feed and I'll watch it if it intrigues me. And you know, you want information like the whole like the whole Jaclyn Hill shit with the lipsticks and stuff, I wanted to see it from the drama channels because one, I wasn't trying to give certain people views and two, I just wanted to like get to it. <laughs> so yeah, my, my initial thoughts with drama channels was like a hate hate because it was, I was noticing that some drama channels were extremely biased and I get it. As human beings, we kind of become biased. We have our own beliefs. And it does translate because it's our personal channel. It is it is their personal channel. It's still a drama channel, but it's still kind of like their personal thing. So I kind of, you know, could take away from it. But sometimes it was just too hateful. And it was just spiteful. And it was annoying. And it was like obsessive. And it was just certain channels that were doing that for a while. And I was just like, what the fuck is this? Like, I don't watch this shit. Like, I don't even know why it's on my feed. Um, so I like will watch 10 seconds and be like, oh, no, I could... Y'all already know, some of y'all really, really know that I'm more on energy. I don't fucks with certain things. So, it is what it is. But not saying that I'm. it's not a guilty pleasure in a sense to watch it every now and again. Especially when you kind of want to know the tea of something that happened. Like, I don't support Jeffree Star. Y'all already fucking know this. I don't support him. I don't give a shit. But if something was to pop off or James Charles, any of these motherfucking fucking fucks, whatever, that just really are just pieces of shit i'm gonna say it. rich pieces of shit just because you're rich doesn't mean you're not a piece of shit you know what i'm saying so I, that's my personal opinion if you guys like these folks cool cool we can we can still coexist you know what i'm saying that's not a problem i that's my personal take but if i want to know about it i'll watch it that's my guilty person pleasure so eventually i started seeing some channels that were like this is what I found. This is what it is. These are the receipts. What do you think? You know, like that. And we already know that that person might have a bias against them, but they weren't making it personal. So I can appreciate the growth of, of some drama channels or the drama community in a sense. The drama channel community. Because, you know, it's not all bad. Just the same thing as YouTube and beauty bloggers and all that shit. It's not all bad. It really isn't. It's just we like to make certain people popular that don't fucking deserve it. And then we get mad when, you know, they, they prove to us that they're pieces of shit. Um, <laughs> so, you know, it is what it is. But <laughs> this morning, um, some drama channel was caught 
on live saying the N-word. I mean, I heard it. I could understand where maybe some people didn't hear it or didn't understand, like, the tone or the pitch, whatever. I don't know. I heard it, though. I wasn't looking for it because I didn't know what was going on. I put it to my ear, and I was like, what'd they say? Put it to my ear, and then I read it. I was like, oh, that's kind of what I heard. <laughs> um, oh, the biasness. I don't know. I don't agree with it. I mean, clearly, I know people slip up, and depending on where you're from and stuff, those words might be used freely or whatever, but it's still not our fucking word to use. And you have to admit when you're wrong, you have to admit that it was a shitty move. And I'm hearing crickets, honey. I'm hearing crickets. I hold my friends accountable 110%. And if I was a drama channel, I would still be reporting on it, sweetie. And you bet your fucking ass I will be because it was with anyone else. If you don't get along with the person, y'all gonna be running to the fucking blogs and running to, you know, to spill the tea, per se. But I'm watching certain people quiet about it. And those are channels that I really don't fucks with anyway. Those are the drama channels that I really just don't fucks with for very, very specific reasons. So if you guys didn't know that there was some drama, there's some drama. So touching base on that. Um, right now, like, I don't want you guys to think that, like, oh my God, EB fucking hates drama channels. No, that's just, that was my perception when I start, first started watching them because it was like mad aggressive, like hateful. Like it was like, maybe I was watching, clearly I was watching the wrong shit. I wasn't watching like, just, I mean, at first it started mild, then it went like, like I would have fought somebody that was talking the way that was talking about other people, the way they was talking. You know, like I, I'm like, bitch, catch me outside. <laughs> Actually, I'm gonna catch you. I'm gonna catch you at Starbucks. I, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a roll up. Like I just <laughs> the blatant disrespect that was I was seeing that that was my big gripe with it. But I do watch. <laughs> I do watch. I ain't gonna lie. Um, I don't make it a point to watch. I just be like, oh shit, what's this about? Boop. And I'll watch until I'm uninterested. You know? Sometimes I watch it till the end. I'm like, oh shit. Sometimes they're short and sweet and to the point, which is great. So drama channels are just doing what beauty channels do. They business. They just... So, you know, it just... But I feel like that has also helped aid in cancel culture. And it's like, I think cancel culture has taken it all the way left to, to extremes for things that why you can't cancel for that? Like, you've done worse. You know, like, we're not, we're like really throwing stones at everything without having all the facts or just, just to say it at this point. Sometimes it just looks like we're like, you're canceled. I'm like, I bet you didn't support me in the first place. You know, like, it just comes off like a fad. So, that I do feel like the drama channels have helped aid in that. I don't think that that's their intention, but I think people get invested and they're like, <laughs> like watching a tv show and hating the villain you know type shit so you know i'm not i'm not trying to blame them. but anyway that's the drama from this morning and i was like i'm glad i don't support you motherfuckers anyway but it is what it is birds of a feather fucking flock together so this bitch is flocking on her own right now flocking sounds like that anyway so that was it on that topic, but I, I kind of wanted to touch base on it because I was like, it's funny how everybody's fucking quiet now, isn't it? It's funny how no one has nothing to say. I mean, some people got some shit to say because they're keeping it 100% real, but their little friends are like, I'm going to speak to them because they're my friend. I'm like, you should already had this conversation with your friend because that's not the first time that friend has talked like that in front of you, but y'all been okay with it. Bet, I could put money on it. I could put money on it. And who's, look, we're not all perfect we are all guilty of even being nasty to some people saying bad words calling people out by name you know like thinking shit that we should be thinking i'm guilty of that shit i'm not i'm not even gonna be fucking fronting like i'm this dumb to be like i'm fucking saying no it's bullshit that's bullshit but guess what when that shit happens and it's current knowing that these in these times that how people are behaving and like how negative life is and you feeding into that shit and your friends ain't calling you out guess what boo? people gonna be going into your comments and they're gonna be cussing you the fuck out i don't feel sorry for you sweetie i don't feel sorry for you sweetie i heard it i don't know what excuse i don't know what 
um, what gray, what, what Heather gray sweater hoodie apology is going to come out of this shit. I really just don't know. I don't know. Um, but I heard it. So I saw it written afterwards. I was like, oh shit, they, they wrote a caption for me. <laughs> Ooh, you know, so I was like, oh, okay, that sounded like what I thought I heard. So I don't know. Don't say the word. Don't say the word. You can't control your thoughts, but you can control your mouth to an extent. Like, I mean, I just, fuck, man. That sounds so stupid. But anyway, I was like, oh, what else can we talk about? Just random shit. Just chit chat. I'm stuck in traffic. I mean, what do you guys think about that situation? If you know about it. Like, if you were to hear someone, even if it's with their friends, like, just like, be mindful that you're like, your words, even jokingly or even like, I don't know. I don't even know how to say it, like, you're using that. Like, I don't know. I don't know how to explain that, condoning that at all because I don't. So it's like, you know, come on now. Like, you could talk different ways. You could say, my dude. You could say, bruh. You could say, bitch. Bitch. I say bitch all the time. But I don't. I mean, I've said my Spanish slur word because I'm Latina. I've actually been called that quite a few times this year. I use it on myself. I use it when I'm mad on myself. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. And yes, that I should never use it. But it's like, it's unfortunate that that's what I've been called. Uh, how I respond is uh, not the best <laughs> when I've been called that. Um, luckily, I haven't backhanded anyone when I've been called that. And I've been called that at work. I've been called that at the store when I'm off the clock where I could easily lay hands and I wouldn't do that but I mean I haven't pushed um so I don't know I don't know I'm not fucking itchy you know, like, um so yeah I mean I don't I'm not okay with it clearly but you know like I said birds of fly that flock together your little your little paychecks the people that sign your paychecks are the ones that are like okay with you saying that shit but it's like black friends or I have people of color as friends and you know I have black boyfriend and I'm like no that does not fucking mean that you can say that shit that's not yours period even if you were thinking it why would you be fucking thinking it in the first place you wouldn't be thinking that shit unless you were a stereotypical motherfucker or a racist or both one goes into the other easily <laughs> But yeah, I mean, I ain't okay with it. I don't fucking support it. I don't fucks with it. And I'm over here laughing because I'm just like, whatever, man. Like, it is what it is. You got caught up. Can't be mad at nobody but yourself. I just think it's disrespectful to, like, I don't know. And these fucking people get, like, 60,000 subscribers, 70,000 subscribers, and up, up, up. And they just get fucking big-headed and cocky. Like, I got, like, what, 27,000 of you guys, 500 of you guys watch me? Where my big head at? I mean, would I love more engagement? Would I love more subscribers? Yeah, absolutely. I've been doing this shit for seven, going on eight years next year. It's like, of course. I love doing it. I ain't worried about it, honey. I can have a million subscribers right now, and I'd probably be just petrified to go fucking outside. <laughs> I'd be petrified to go outside, because I'd be like, I don't want to see anybody I may know. You know, that may know me, because I'd be, you know, that's I'm a weirdo. I can't let my head get that big. I'm an asshole naturally, so it isn't really, you know, like, oh my gosh, she's an asshole. I'm like, no, I'm sorry, ma'am. I've been an asshole before one subscriber. I've been an asshole. So please, let, let's let's make that clear right now. If y'all ever meet me and I'm at a gazillion subscribers, which I ain't gonna happen, sweetie. But just know I'm an asshole. And I have a resting bitch face, so don't take it personal. You talk to me, I'm like, fuck it. Like, <laughs> I'm like that naturally. Ask my friends. They can't stand me sometimes. So, all two of them. <laughs> four of them. <laughs> I don't know why I said three and I said three. I said four, but I'm going three. I don't know. Y'all don't mind me. I'm tired. Um, but, yeah, that, that, was, that was a big part of this conversation. <laughs> I just don't condone it. I mean, it is what it is. I'm not, I'm not going to drag nobody through the fucking mud, but come on now. <laughs> Love you guys! <laughs> 
Anyway, I recently went to a wedding. It was beautiful. I wore a red dress, which I don't think I've ever owned a red dress. I've owned red lingerie, a red lipstick, a red eyeshadow, but never a red dress. Not that I can remember, no. And I think I look pretty. But you guys can check out my Instagram if you want to. If you guys saw me on Snapchat, I was being a help. Once upon a time, long, long ago, I was a home. And I made it in. Let me stop. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. New makeup, damn. Oh, guys, I'm sorry. I still have my Pat McGrath. My Pat McGrath foundation I have not opened. It's still in its packaging. Like, it's still in the delivery box. I still have my Wet n Wild Pac Man collection in its delivery box. I still. Oh, I bought a $1.88 foundation to review for you guys, and that is still. I'm just been really, really bad at putting out content, and I feel so bad. This is like, like I feel like wasted. Like maybe I'm wasting time. Like you know what I'm saying? Like it, it makes me feel like anxious because I feel like I'm wasting time, even though I'm trying to use up whatever little time that I have in between jobs to rest so that I can be re re-energized. I, I just feel so guilty. I get so I get sick to my stomach. So that's why I do these lives. <laughs> okay, I vlog stuff, but I vlog. I like the lives. Then I can go back and look at your comments. I'm like, oh, and I feel like an asshole because I didn't respond to you. So I'm sorry. I can't see anyway. Um, but yeah, Jacqueline Hill came out the woodwork. Nobody paid her fucking attention. <laughs> that's funny. That's funny. Oh my God, did you guys see Michelle Fawn's new video? That was so freaking amazing i was geeking the fuck out not gonna lie i was like you know i'm a camera fanatic like i used to be a photographer many months ago when i, I first of all i fucking suck at taking my own pictures that's why my instagram feed looks the same i'm just boring as fuck when it comes to myself but when it comes to, well, i used to take photography photos of like nature and and all that stuff and i used to develop my own film so i was always like geeked the fuck out when it came to photography and michelle fawn's new video after what three years it was so cute i think she has like a live a 24 7 like live music stream and little animation like she's so fucking talented guys she's the og of youtube she's one of the og makeup folks in youtube and i fucking love her so much and i kind of missed her like you know you kind of forget but it's like seeing her first of all the heifer didn't age a bit if anything she got younger looking which my god how is that possible why am I aging? Um, she looked amazing. She showed how to do... She was doing a commercial for one of her beauty products. And, I mean, the end result was amazing. Maybe I have to take off my glasses. Oh, look, I have a face. Okay. This wig is killing me. I like, I love the look. I want to get her in the red. And maybe even the black. Because I just like the style. You put up in a half pony. Um... Even loose, it's cute, but this is cuter. This looks more like me. Ugh, I'm itchy. See, I have, like, allergies in my nose. It just so I look like crackhead. <laughs> but, yeah, no, Michelle Fawn's new video. Check it out if you guys haven't. If you guys don't know who Michelle Fawn is, hello, welcome to YouTube. Um, she's one of the original YouTubers. Like, she was, like, you know, she hit a big slump of depression, and she was really open about that after a while, and I so appreciate that because... That was like the first time I really saw that, you know, being a social media influencer was and can be very, very negative on the soul and the body and spirit. So, <clears throat> I felt really bad. But, yeah, it came out it was so beautiful. She looked so good. And it was dope. It was dope as shit. It was like um, behind the scenes of of her uh, new commercial. But anyway, yeah, that. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I don't have much to say. I'm just like tired. <laughs> I had a little bit of burst of energy and now I'm like, oh, oh, oh. oh fuck, great a red light. Thanks, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna cut now. Thank you. <clears throat> but yeah. I don't know, guys. There's not much to update you guys. I'm still fat. Um, I have lost weight, by the way, but still fat, if that makes sense. So yeah, I've lost weight. 
I think I've lost like 20, no, 18 pounds. I mean, not exaggerate. I've lost like 18 pounds on and off. I do fluctuate. Um, sometimes I feel way more bloated. Sometimes I hold water, fluid, whatever. And um, yeah, it sucks. It sucks being a big batch. It just sucks having to have weight issues. And I know every woman, man, and however that people identify, um, they are, they deal with things differently. So, um, what the fuck is that? Bald beaver hunting? Hunter? I'd love to have control of your mouth. Uh, you can kindly fuck off. Whoever the fuck you are. Fucking suck a dick, dude. Oh my god, what the fuck are these comments? Poppy and Gray, hey girl! I know I'm responding mad late, but you know. I'm sorry, this is fucking disgusting. The weight struggle is real, Mary. It really, really is. I just wanted to pull over for a few minutes. Um, I don't even know where the fuck I'm at, to be honest. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it's it's crazy. It is so crazy. It's like, what the, f what the fuck am I supposed to do? And then people are like, oh, well, you know, if you want to lose weight, just stop eating. I'm like, mm, take, a, take a fucking choke on it, okay? Stop eating. Fuck out of here. How you sound? You sound fucking stupid. You should, should go to a nutritionist. Been there, done that, still do. You don't know my life. I got told the other day that I have a really pretty face, but I would look so much better if I was skinnier. I kindly responded with, your granddaddy and your daddy don't seem to have any complaints, but you know, I kept it professional. So, whatever. I don't know. I'm just over it. People with their backhanded compliment comments and shit. It's not even a compliment. It's just backhanded comments. So I already deal with my shit on my own. On my own. You motherfuckers act like I don't have a fucking mirror. Like, what is... Oh, this whole thing has been like... This whole fat shaming shit has been all over like Twitter and the news and all this shit. I'm like, what are people talking about? Why is it okay to fat shame? No, that is bullying. There's no such thing as fat shaming. That is you being a bully. That is you having an opinion that's wrong. That is you being an asshole, you miserable bastards. Like, I don't understand how literally this has been all over the news about fat shaming should come back. I'm like, you mean bullying? Because I will rock your fucking face right out your neck. There would be no holds bar. Because you are not, what the fuck you're not going to do is disrespect me. I don't give a shit if you don't like the way I look. Don't look. Don't look. Don't look. And I hope that every bite of food you take haunts you for the rest of your fucking life because i don't understand why people think that because someone's obese or plus size or thicker that food is a problem i don't give a fuck about food guys i'm gonna be real frank do i get cravings absolutely would i like a fucking deep throat a damn piece of cheesecake right now yes i'm fucking mentally pmsing right now of course i would i don't make it a point to eat 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 all day i can barely eat three meals a day so when people assume that it's a food problem, no, it's not necessarily that. I just don't have the same metabolism everyone else has. That's why everyone looks different. Because if everyone looked the same, then we'd be fucking robots. What kind of dumbass shit is that? Explain. And you know, it's funny because like we're made to believe that we are not good enough ever. And you know how fucking frustrating that is to see, like, to know where the generation where I came from, how much negativity I had to deal with. You think I want to put that on my daughter? No, fuck no. I would never. It's not something I would do. It is not something I would do. And I think as um, new generation, even if we're older and we're used to having the shitty thoughts of older generations I think we can change that I think we can be um, we can be the, the, the change that needs to happen for our future generations whether it be nieces, nephews, grandchildren our own kids even if you have 20, 30 something year old children that you kind of raised in the same way you can always stop that and change that people, it's okay to change it's going to take a little bit longer but 
you know, stop that shit. Like, stop thinking that it's okay to fat shame people or just to shame them for things that they do. Like, if it's not hurting anyone, like, if it's not hurting themselves or hurting anyone, don't. I don't want to hear that obesity causes this, that, and third, because guess the fuck what? I haven't seen any fucking proof. I haven't seen any fucking proof. I haven't seen any proof that every fucking fat person is diabetic or that they all have high blood pressure and that that's what causes it. <laughs> that is bullshit, my friends. Most of it is genetics. And if you have high cholesterol, I know, you know what's funny? Most of the people that I know that have high cholesterol are fucking average weight. Explain. Explain to me where that fucking makes sense. Explain to me why I have seen more heart attacks, knock on wood, on average weight people. Not saying it doesn't happen with big people. Not saying that it isn't a cause at some point for certain people that are overweight. I mean, I just feel like people need to be educated. I feel like people just make an assumption and that's it. I'm fat. I'm lazy. I'm extremely lazy. I don't know how to do anything and I smell. Guess what, bitch? I don't none of those things besides I'm fat that's the only thing you have right about me is that I'm fat I have an extra little bit of fluff that keeps me fucking warm in the winter while your miserable skinny ass is shaking and has to load up on clothes and your man still looks and your girl still looks so I mean I'm confusion I mean it's been bugging me lately because people are just like talking out. I don't fucking get it people are just, just talking out their ass and I'm like can you get a grip can you like did you hear what the fuck you just said? Repeat that again, louder. Say it to yourself in the mirror. Man. Yeah, pretty face, thanks. And I got chichos to hold on. <laughs> Bitch, bye. So yes, I've lost some weight. You can't see it, but I've lost it. And honestly, I haven't been wearing min minimal makeup. I know I've been rambling about, like, trauma channels and weight. Not that shit. Um... Excuse me, but yeah, that's crazy. Um, I'm supposed to see a couple specialists because I'm kind of dealing with some bariatric issues because of my surgery, um, like acid reflux and shit like that. I don't know where the fuck it came from, but I've been dealing with it, with it really, really badly for the last few years. So that update, I might do an update. Yeah, I might. I might. Might not. I'm not gonna promise anything because literally, I clearly work at, off the seat of my pants. Like whatever the hell the whim whatever hits that's me that's what i'll do i don't ever really not that i don't plan things cause trust me when i plan things it better be done but like usually when it comes to like random shit oh, i don't really like to plan on it because then i don't want to do it <laughs> it's that weird totally weird i'm totally a weirdo sound bipolar that's really what i sound Anyway, guys, so, yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, feel free to leave your comments below. I'm going to keep this video up. I know it's lengthy, but I always keep my car vlogs off because, you know, that's what it is. Um, if you want to rewatch, I was jamming to some Latino music, and I'm about to block somebody um, in that comment section. That's fucking gross. Yeah, I'm about nasty. Who the hell left the troll in? Who, which one of you ladies let him in? Which one of you? Was it you, Mary? Did you let him in? <laughs> I hope none of y'all got to see them comments, but I see them, so they about to get blocked. Actually, can I do it now? Let me see. Oh my god, we're gonna report it. Um, yep. Yay! Let's see. How do you not hold your friends accountable? That's not over. Oh my god, pop your I can see some. Ugh, bald beaver. I'm fucking nasty ass. I can't fucking click on it. No, it won't let me. But guess what? We're going to figure it out after this. <laughs> Mary, you're awesome. I do see you guys. I do see you guys. Even the ones that don't really comment too much um, <clears throat> on my videos. I see y'all. I know who's been there. I could tell. I could tell, like, by the responses or even the random comments here and there. I could always tell. So I much appreciate you guys very much. I love you guys so much. So. Oh, I met one of my subscribers the other day at the wedding, and I was like, oh my god, I am not gonna lie, I felt totally weirded out, but she was so freaking sweet, absolutely gorgeous, I don't know if she'll watch this, but, I mean, 
who i i remember seeing her come in and i was like first of all i need to tell her her dress is gorgeous and she's beautiful and she waved at me like she knew me and i was like hi she's like i know you i was like oh I, you know <laughs> that's just kind of how i am like okay i don't know maybe i just look familiar so and she said she's like you look like a youtube friend of mine and i was like i do youtube and she was like ivy i was like yeah that's <laughs> so my coworkers and my friends and family were cracking up because they were like what are the odds i was like what are the odds so um you are sweet you're amazing you're gorgeous keep doing it honey she was beat to the gods honey when i tell you skin was flawless hair was flawless outfit was flawless she was pop and she was absolutely gorgeous and i listen honey beauty is beauty and if i see it i'm gonna tell you something i mean i think everybody's beautiful um even the ugly sold bitches but this person was she was just so beautiful i don't want to say your name because you know whatever um excuse me but from the bottom of my heart i appreciate the compliment i appreciate you know your word of advice of advice and i think I, I i think you're just an absolutely gorgeous doll so if you happen to see this cool if not that's fine i just want to let you guys know that i do meet some of you guys once in a blue not that many but you know it's okay you know i do get weirded out because i'm like what do you do in this situation but hey just talk to me that's all it'll freak me out but it's actually pretty cool so i don't know anyway guys i'm about to i don't even know where i'm at i think i'm lost i'm about to head home do i have to do anything hold on and let me just go home and figure out what the fuck I have to do. <laughs> and then I will check you guys. Hopefully I'll upload an actual decent video rather than a 37 minute video. Anyway, I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for driving with me and tolerating my random ass thoughts. I love you guys very much. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Yeah. <laughs> oh, thank you, Joanna. Bye, Miss Mary. I don't know how to stop this. You're going to have to give me a second. We, don't, we, don't, we just don't know how to stop this. It says mute microphone. That's rude. All right, guys. I will see you guys later. Bye.